What's up YouTube? Today we'll be going over a loot run guide on the map reserves. This is my go-to money making method when I want to risk absolutely nothing but still make insane money gains. We'll be covering everything you need to know to make your run smooth and efficient. I'll start off by saying you'll be doing these runs on your PMC. Let's go over the map itself and talk about where you can spawn and where you need to go from there. The following map shows different PMC spawn locations in separate colors followed by a line that shows you the fastest path to your destination. We will only be covering spawns red, blue, purple and black, as orange and yellow will be featured in the next video. First, we're going to talk about what to do if you spawn at red. This is the only spawn where we will be entering the weather station from the bottom and not the top. If you spawn at red, run past the hole in the fence by Mountain Scav Extract and head to the white pond building. From there, we begin our loot run under the weather station, slowly making our way to the top. If you spawn at blue, purple or black, you'll be starting your loot run from the top of the weather station, working your way down. Spawning at blue and purple is a little risky. You have to run towards manhole sewer extract, past CP fence, up the hill to the top of the weather station. This may be intimidating, but I rarely run into people while in transit. There are no item requirements from doing weather station loot runs, but it is very helpful to have a red rebel ice pick and paracord. This allows you to extract at the top of the weather station. Note, you cannot take this extract if you are wearing a torso body armor, however, you can use it with any tactical rig. There is an alternate extract if you are unable to use a cliff. You could take manhole sewer, but unfortunately you can't be wearing a backpack to take this extract. You can still get plenty of loot by wearing a decent tactical rig and utilizing the gamma container. If you are lucky enough to spawn close to the weather station, try to quickly loot the two single rooms directly across from our main entrance. They both have gun cabinets and safes. The left building does require a key, but it is definitely worth it and there is often great loot. The building on the right does not require a key to open. I normally just loot the safe and head down for the main run. Let's start our descent down into the weather station. My weapon of choice is a 5.7 with a tactical light. I highly recommend a tactical light as sometimes it's extremely difficult to see and it's easy to miss loot. It's hit or miss finding people down here, but just in case I always run some average gear. This isn't a requirement, but I'm the type of person who likes to take fights if I can. So having something is better than nothing in my opinion. Notice as I walk through this hallway, I'm looking on the ground and on top of random objects. It's not uncommon to find motors or fuel lying on the floor.
you managed to make it past the last two minutes of Resident Sleeper content, I applaud you. Make sure you look between every crevice as you can find multiple items. With number 32 being our last loot location, it's time to make our way back up and out to one of our extracts we discussed previously. It takes anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes to do this run depending on spawn location and how fast you loot. I want to say thanks for watching, and if you don't mind providing feedback in the comment section and rating the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again.